I'm excited to announce some significant developments in my effort to develop a uniform statewide policy banning single-use bags. As you know, I introduced a bill this year, AB 1998, to ban all single-use bags which have been polluting our oceans and waterways and threatening marine life. Last Friday, the Assembly Appropriations Committee moved the bill off the suspense file and to the Assembly floor where it faces a critical vote this week. Today, I'm happy to report we have reached an historic agreement with the California Grocers Association and the United Food and Commercial Workers, two major stakeholders that have not previously supported a single-use bag ban. California's economy is based on a clean and thriving ocean. For, for the millions of tourists who flock here every year, um, from the fishing industry to the entertainment industry, it, California's economy is pumped up with about $53 billion a year because we have these clean beaches. But with this comes an awesome responsibility. It is now our job to take care of the ocean. The particular problem in our oceans is plastic. It's petroleum-based, they're not biodegradable, and that means it does not break down, it simply breaks into smaller and smaller pieces, which is being seen with turtles that are showing up with plastic bags in their stomach because they think they're jellyfish, birds that are decomposing with bits of plastic inside of them because they're eating bottle caps, thinking that it's food, so they're not only dying from starvation but from toxicity. Um, and so th there's just way too many animals in these oceans and, and animals that, are, that depend on the ocean as well as ourselves that are, that are in danger now from all of these toxins that are there. We may never be able to take the plastic out of the ocean, but we certainly need to stop putting more in. And banning plastic bags in California um, can help us take a real step towards solving this problem. It's not going to be easy. Oil and gas companies and the chemical industry have worked hard to develop products that are ubiquitous and a real part of our everyday lives. In order to ensure that they continue to generate profit from these products, they are working in the halls of Sacramento and Salem to stifle efforts that protect the future of our oceans. This will not stop us. We will not be deterred.